in 2003, clinching the divisional series for the eventual World Series champion Florida Marlins is a 14-time All-Star behind the plate. Baseball Hall of Famer here, care of our friends at Bank of America, Pudge Rodriguez. Good to see you, sir. Good to see you. What yeah. is that memory for you? It's uh, very good. One of my best uh, moments in my career, just to be able to get that last out, be able to hold that baseball uh, in my glove. Uh, even though Jay this no hit me really, really hard, uh, but it just the uh, just a matter of the team effort that we did a whole year, starting spring training, and to be able to get there, to get to that moment and beat the Giants uh, in 2003, which is uh, as everybody knows here that in the Giant was a team to beat, you know, uh, with that great team that they had, that great pitching they have, and 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 the Marlins just be able to eliminate the Giants in five game and move on and 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 win you know the series in the cup and win with the uh, uh, with the Giant uh, with the Yankees and win the World Series it was a uh, was a great moment. But that play right there, you know, is one of my best plays in my career. Yeah, the Giants went to the World Series the year before, lost to the Angels, and then uh, you you guys eliminated them the next year. But what what is that? What is that feeling like where you know? Somebody is about to try and blow you up and separate you from the baseball. What what is that sensation well, like? Rick, in that play, it was I, I knew that that play is going to happen. I knew that JT is no is going to is going to come and try to knock me down and 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 you know and and throw the you know just you know get the baseball away from me. Uh, but the the great the great thing about the play was that the base it was to left field. And when you and when you when you see the left field, you see the runner with the corner of your eye, and that to me was a uh, was a big advantage for me. It's easy, it's different when you when you see the the throw from right field and left field. But I knew, you know, Conine, you know, have a great one hop, you know, uh, when he received the glove and threw it a perfect one hop to me, and I was able to. Secure it in my glove. Uh, basically, I just put my throwing hand mm -hmm. inside of the glove and and just let JT JT hit me, and that's what that was a play. So who who's the best player you played with? Best player I played with. I played with so many. Yes, good you ones. did. Oh, man, so yes, many you did. Ones. But I'm asking for one because you know we in the media we 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 don't want many. We just I tell want you one. what, uh, yeah. uh, uh, Teammates, you know, teammates I played with Juan Gonzalez. Juan Gonzalez was a great player. Uh, you know, Palmeiro, uh, Julio Franco, uh, Dean Palmer. I played three years with Nolan Ryan. And that what was that year, like catching him? Great. Unbelievable. You know, just another, like, another Pedro Martinez, strike thrower, you know, a guy that, that throws 90%, 90%, 95% of the time pass balls and – and and I like that, you know. I like aggressive pitchers, guys that has they, that I know they have great fastball and not afraid to throw. Uh, but the but the starting pitchers that I have that year when I came up, you know, I have Nolan, Kevin Brown, Kenny Rogers, you know, uh, Jose Guzman. All those guys are such a great pitcher that make my job a lot easier. Were you behind home plate when Robin Ventura went out? And I was behind the plate. Okay. I was behind the plate, and it and was uh, pr pretty intense. It was. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say so. Yeah. It was a it was a pretty intense fight. Uh, I knew that you know uh, that's gonna mm. happen. You knew he was gonna charge them out. Well, you know, it's, it's, uh, everything happens the 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 series before when we in Chicago. Mm -hmm. uh, the story that was a story, you know that uh, I don't remember what happened the series before then. The Nolan and and Robin Ventura get at it a little bit, and and um, you know a week later they come, you know they, they play three game series mm -hmm. uh, in Arlington, and Nolan Ryan was pitching, and and that's what the accident happened. But uh, it was uh, in things it was there. It was a lot of a lot of big big guys in there in in in, in that big group of people fighting, but. Uh, uh, but it was kind of like uh, interesting to be in that fight. Did you not hold Robin back? I mean, well, isn't I that your job? Trying, I just trying to hold him, but uh, but it was a little late. <laughs> well, because you or you just knew that the old man noogies were coming. You well, know that you he know, was going to just because he charged it too fast. 
and I didn't have the chance to okay. hold it. And Robin Ventura getting to the run spot of Nolan, and <laughs> you know he got him, he got himself in here. Uh, he got under his arm. Under his arm, and it wasn't fun. <laughs> Man, oh man, oh man! Who did you square off in that one? Did you square off with anybody in that fight? No, not really. No? I oh, just okay. no, not Rick. This is this is a true story. Uh, okay. I was having a a a sheen. I'm, I was having a surgery in my cheekbone 48 hours before. I was playing with a big, uh, you know, uh, patch right here in my left side. Uh-huh. Uh huh. We came from Kansas City. Yeah. And Hubie Brook hit me. With the bat, you know, those kind of double swing that end out out of balance and hit me in my in my face and broke my my jaw. Mm -hmm. And I was playing 40, 48 hours later, so I was kind of a little scary. No kidding. When so when you want to stay out of that? I was a little scary when that fight was going on. Because you don't want to. You can see it right there. You see that white right next to. Yeah, there it is. Face? We're looking at a photo, a still That's photograph it. of it right there. That's it. And then. In terms of, you know, one of the craziest games of all time, uh, in 03, after you secured that ball to get to the NLCS, you were in Wrigley Field, correct? I was in Wrigley Field. For the Bartman game. Right. The famous Bartman game. What was that like from your perspective when that ball well, goes down the left field line? And To and me, to me that, you know, everybody criticizing the, the, the poor fan, and I don't think... That was his fault. I mean, I know it was a it was a catchable fly ball, obviously, yes, but that's part of the game. You know, everybody can every a lot of fans can reach for a, for a ball, and sometimes you know fans are catchers. Sometimes players catch the ball, but I think that wasn't the play that we eliminate the the Cubs that year. I think that was the 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 play after. The ground when ball that went through ball, Gonzalez's That went between Alex Gonzalez's uh, leg. I think that was that was the reason that they lost the series. But there wouldn't have been anybody on first, right? I mean, did you? Well, so let yes. me ask. Let me. Let me. And I'm not doing this to. To. I mean, look, Bartman's life has been hurt it's, enough. Okay, yeah, I got it. Yeah. But he's got his ring now, apparently. <laughs> um, but did you know, guys not sit in the dugout right there and think, okay, this is our our chance? Oh, absolutely. You know, when you when you give an extra out to a team, you're always going to score some runs, and that's what I that's what I teach today. I I work for the Rangers, and I always I always telling kids in minor league do not give a team an extra out because if you do, you're going to get damaged or you're going to score a lot of runs. And we got a break. Obviously, we have a break there, like everybody else. Oh yeah. Uh, it could it could have happened to you know to the cups too, in that situation. You know, uh, the luck went our way. The you know Bartman, you know, put his glove and 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 uh, and Moises Alou didn't catch the ball, and then the rest was history. A couple more minutes left uh, with Pudge Rodriguez here in the Rich Eisen Show before we talk about B of A. Your son's playing now, huh? And yeah, for the he's Giants. doing well. He's a pitcher Thank you for asking. For you the know. Giants, Thank Derek you. Rodriguez. Thank you. Now I know it's not spelled the same way, but is it named after? Is he named after? Yeah, Jeter? his name is Ivan. Ivan Derek Rodriguez. Okay, but is Derek for Jeter? Is it? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, no, really. That was. Uh, <laughs> Had to ask. That was his yeah. mother's. Uh, his mother' idea to put a, uh, a middle name in in the middle. Okay. Uh, but his na his first name is Ivan. And, okay. Uh, He's doing well, Rick. He's, he's pitching good. I'm very happy, proud of what he's doing. You know, he's uh, he's only been four four years pitching. Uh, he was, you know, he was an outfielder uh, with the Twins, and yeah. but he always have a great arm. And and from and the and the improvement that he's been doing from four years yes. to now, the mechanic, you know, they stay back, they you know, they stay over the top and 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 pitch tall. He's He's doing great. Plus, he has some great coaches, uh, uh, you know, the first couple of years with the Twins. Mm -hmm. And also, he's now with a great group of guys in the Giants organization. You know, when you see Johnny Cueto, Bon Garner, oh, yeah. uh, Sumarja, all those guys are sure. talking to him a lot. And he's doing good. But but the one thing that Derek do well, that he's present, is, is he looks like he's been in the big league for or 10 years, and he's not afraid to throw strikes. 
Uh, he's four and one. He averaged, you know, a hundred pitches per start and throws like sixty strike every single start. You know that he no, throws. Yeah. It. And so when you throw Rick, when you throw a lot of strike, Rick, you're going to get a lot of. Well, and I, and you know I can say this based on uh, based on the way I look. Uh, the hair comes from the mother's side, right? Yes, Not it is side, because correct? if you see mine. Um, yeah, I mean I'm, you and I. I'm, you, you and I, you and I would look like. Yeah, here we go. We do. <laughs> From the eyebrows up. <laughs> no, he's uh, <laughs> There you go. <laughs> Pretty much from the eyebrows <laughs> up. Okay. Uh, B of A, I use the uh, the mobile banking. I do that all the time. Yeah, I got good. that on my phone. I use it all the time. It's phenomenal. It and, is phenomenal. It's good. You know, uh, I partnered up with uh, uh, Bank of America, as you know, that's, mm -hmm. you know, the official of uh, Bank of Major League Baseball. And mm -hmm. I'm, I'm very happy to partner with them in this week of our game and, and the app, I use it too. It's very easy, oh, yeah. uh, very fast, and and in, and and especially in today's the way we live life, that's what we need. You know, something quick that we can get, and and and, and it's been working very good. And and especially here, you know, your star game with all the activities going on, this is the best app to use. And uh, looking forward later just to be also in the fan fest. Uh, I'm gonna be. Uh, they're, you know, signing autograph, talking to people and meeting Greek with people. So looking forward to be there a little later. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, uh, in between innings, you could transfer funds, you could pay bills. You just Absolutely. sit right there on the it's app. Easier. It's, it's really, easier. I, I, I use the mobile app all the time. Hey, good to see you, sir. Thank you, Rick. Uh, Thank really, you for let, having let, me let, Let's show. do this again. Thank you, guys. Let's do it again. Thanks, Pudge. You got it. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.